So, Leslie, you are here holding down the fort. How many students do you have this weekend? I think I've got nine horses here today. Wow. And more yeah. coming soon or just nine well, total week weekend? Uh, over the weekend, yeah. And Leslie, the other Leslie is? Seattle. <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> At the beautiful Aspen Farms, so. though. Yeah. And you're not riding because you rode last weekend, though, that's right? Yes, Leslie and I rode all our horses last weekend, and then we're taking them up to Pine Top next weekend, so they have this weekend off. And where's Liam? Liam's at home because he's not a big fan of the busy horse show days. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. So you rode lovely What Law. Tell us a little bit about him. What Law is coming seven this year. I brought him over from England in... June, I believe, of this year, and he had been eventing with um, a really nice young guy, Alex Wewall in England, and um, had done a bunch of trainings and just started going prelim with him, and yeah, brought him over. He's by Mill Law, and with a name like What Law, we had to own him, didn't we? <laughs> I, I thought you named him that. No, 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 he's by Mill Law, so he had that name already. <laughs> he's lovely. Yeah, he's a good boy. Is it nice to be back at competing again? It's really nice. It's nice to have two lovely young horses that I just adore, so I'm looking forward to them. Have you competed directly against Leslie yet in the same division? Yes, he beat me last weekend. I was on a 24.8, and I think he had a 24.4, I think, oh. in the dressage. <laughs> But I will say he was riding a horse that I brought along up to this year, so it must have been my good training. You can take, <laughs> take all the credit for that, exactly. Great. And um, what else, what are the plans after Pine Top next weekend? Pine Top, then we'll have um, Rocking Horse here again at the beginning of March, where we'll show some of the younger horses, Leslie's younger horses and students, and then we'll be up to Red Hills. After Red Hills, it'll be Poplar two weeks later, and then I think we'll be back to Ocala for the three-day and the horse trials there. And then, of course, everyone's down here for the winter season, and it's um, you know hectic, as you say, every every weekend pretty much, or every other weekend. Mm -hmm. Do you take a break when everyone goes back up north and sort of take a deep breath and relax, or do you just keep going? Or yeah, because right now we're working seven days a week, so it gets a little. It gets a little stressful and a little onerous, but then um, as soon as people start to leave in April, after the three days, then I'm going to make sure we go to Siesta Key for four or five days. Oh, that sounds heavenly. And do you have plans to go back to England? Um, I'm sure we'll go back in April, after the season. Great. Thanks a lot, Lucy, and good luck this weekend. Thank you very much.